To beat the extreme heat, you'll need a plan for before, during, and after the temperature starts to rise. Are you prepared? The heat index is how hot it feels outside. It's measured by combining the relative humidity with the air temperature, which makes it feel hotter outside than what's shown on the thermometer. A heat advisory is issued when the heat index tops 105 degrees. An excessive heat warning is issued when the heat index feels like 110 degrees or hotter for two or more hours. Excessive heat warnings are rare, so it's important to take caution if you see this warning. Keep your home cool by covering windows with drapes or shades, turning on the air conditioner, and using window reflectors, such as aluminum foil covered cardboard, to reflect heat back outside. Keep in mind, fans will not prevent heat-related illness. Instead, take a cool shower or bath, or move to a room with air conditioning. Young children and older adults are at a higher risk for heat-related illness. Be sure to check on those who may have trouble staying cool in the heat. Do you know the signs of heat-related illness, like heat cramps, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke? Heat cramps start with severe muscle pain caused by heavy sweating, stop activity, move to a cool location, and drink water or sports drinks. Seek medical help if the cramps don't go away in one hour. If you ignore heat cramps, they can develop into heat exhaustion. Symptoms include extreme thirst, tiredness, weakness, dizziness, headache, clammy skin, nausea or vomiting, and rapid breathing. If you experience these symptoms or notice someone who has them, move to an air-conditioned place and rest. Take sips of water or sports drinks and take a cool shower or bath. Seek medical help if symptoms last more than one hour. Heat stroke is the most serious heat-related illness. It happens when your body temperature rises to 106 degrees or higher within 10 to 15 minutes. Symptoms include red, hot, and dry skin, no sweating, and a weak, rapid pulse. Call 911 right away. Heat stroke can cause death or permanent disability if emergency treatment is not provided. Never leave a pet or a person, especially those who are young or old, alone inside a vehicle on a warm day. An outside temperature of just 79 degrees can turn to a deadly 100 degrees inside your car in only 10 minutes even with the windows rolled down. Hydrate, 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 even if you don't feel thirsty. Avoid caffeine, alcohol, and sugary drinks, and drink plenty of fluids like water to stay hydrated. Stay inside if possible, but if you need to be outside, find shade. Wear a hat wide enough to protect your face and neck. Wear lightweight, light-colored clothing, and don't forget the sunscreen. Extreme heat can often lead to power outages. Don't be left in the dark. Learn how to prepare at ready.gov slash power dash outage. Walk pets earlier in the morning or later in the evening when temperatures are lower. The sidewalks and roads can be hot and can burn your pet's paws, so stick to grassy areas. Be sure to follow your local forecast and officials for up-to-date information and additional safety tips. Be informed, make a plan, build a kit, get involved. Learn more about extreme heat safety at health.maryland.gov heat.